I, I don't, I don't know where to begin with this. Let me take a deep breath. This might be my favorite vlog, not vlog, what, what is this? This might be my favorite video I've ever filmed because it is all about the 2000s and we are going inside my very secretive, coveted 2000s closet and I'm gonna show you my favorite 2000 items authentically from the 2000s. I feel like I can have a 100 favorite pieces, but today I'm only gonna show you five, so let's get into it. I gotta calm down. Coming in at number one is the one and only Sophie shorts. Now, I don't know if the kids are wearing Sophie shorts nowadays, but these are the authentic Sophie. A lot of people either say soft, Sophie or Sophie. I don't know if it's my Midwest accent, but I say Sophie shorts. Now, these are from the year 2009. As you can see, we got these custom made, the 2009 in the back with the double paw prints. How scandalous back in the day. Now in high school, in the early 2000s, I'm not sure if they do this now, but we used to have names for our year. So I graduated in 2009, so we were 09, so fine. But when you were wearing Sophie's, there was one rule. You had to roll them and roll them and roll them and roll them. So you literally were wearing it like this. I'm embarrassed. I, I don't even know how I actually like wore these to school, how I even walked out the door in these, but you would have these in every single color. You would wear these shorts to lounge in, but also they would be like your formal pair. You'd have that super nice black pair that you would wear out to dinner because they were like your nicer pair. How we treat black leggings today, you have your like super nice pair, but then you have like your grungy pair that you don't care about. So coming in at number one, I don't even know how you beat this. Sophie shorts are just like iconic. But we gotta roll into number two. Coming in at number two is the North Face jacket. Now, if you grew up in the early 2000s, the North Face jacket was a personality trait. It was a status symbol. Now, I it took me a long time to get a North Face because I was the kid that would go to Kohl's and have the Columbia jacket. It was like the knockoff. And then you have the kids going down the hallway in the purple, green, pink, North Face jacket. Me coming from the Midwest, um, these were your winter jackets. You weren't throwing out a big jacket, these were your jackets. I remember when I finally got my first pink North Face jacket, I wore it all year. When it was summertime and it was 80 degrees, I'm like, I'm still wearing this. I'm still wearing this. Another crazy thing about the North Face is that they had a black, brown, and gray one, but those were the more expensive ones. So every year during the holidays, the colorful ones would go on sale at like Dick's Sporting Goods or Sports Authority, and you would have to get one. I know the North Face winter jackets are back in style, but we need the fleece ones to come back. Like the fleece ones. Coming in at number three at no surprise, are the Ugg boots. Now let's get specific. When I'm talking about the Ugg boots, I am talking about the tall chestnut Ugg boots that you would roll all the way down so all the fur shows. I know that Ugg boots are back, or Ugg slip-ons, the shorts, the minis, but no, we gotta give honor to the OGs. This is where it all started. I became fascinated and obsessed with Ugg boots from Laguna Beach, the TV show on MTV. Kristen Cavalier used to wear these Ugg boots with a jean skirt and a black turtleneck. And I remember, I was just a kid from the Midwest in the freezing winter and being like, I wanna be like Kristen Cavalier. And I would wear that exact outfit on a December winter day. And know what the problem was? Chris and Cavalieri lived in California and I lived in the Midwest. I had no business wearing that outfit. But man, these boots have seen some things. And you know what? If you look at the back, like my foot is like sliding off. They're worn down. But you got but but you gotta give credit to Augs because these are over 10, 15, 20. You know what? It doesn't matter how old they are, they're just good quality. Coming in at number four is a little different. It's Love Spell from Victoria's Secret. Love Spell was not just something you owned, it was something that you lived, you breathed. You walk into any school hallway in the early 2000s or locker room and it would either smell like Axe or Love Spell. At my school, every single girl owned this. You would throw it in your backpack or your tote bag and during class you go, you know, there was no limit to the amount of sprays. I just opened it up. Sorry, that just took me back. I would love to know if people still wear this because Victoria's Secret ruled, dominated 
it might have been a law that this was the only thing that you could wear in the early 2000s and I kind of nauseated by the smell right now because I used to wear this all the time but it was a thing it was a thing last but not least we have the one and only juicy couture track suit I was first introduced to Juicy Couture from all the celebrities like Britney Spears and Paris Hilton. Before we had Instagram, we would find photos through like paparazzi shots that would be printed in magazines. And that's how I stalked all my favorite celebs and found out what they were wearing. And they were all wearing Juicy Couture while going to the coffee bean down Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. First of all, you would wear these down by your hips so low i could never wear it like that again but they were just so soft a little heavy because you know these beads in the back were were a little like you know they weren't light but it was just such a staple in your closet and i love that they're back now i mean i've seen a lot of people wearing these but back then you were hot stuff if you had a juicy couture tracksuit i was working at abercrombie for six years trying to afford one of those but we did it all right, you guys, so those were my five items from the early 2000s that I swore by. Now, if you want to see more, let me know, because if you like this, there's plenty more in that closet that I can show you. We can do a top 100 if you want, but as you can tell, I'm a little passionate about this, so I might need to calm down. No, I will not calm down because I'm obsessed with the 2000s in the clothing and everyone must be educated by it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment what you want to see. I really appreciate you all for watching. Seriously, I, I'm not even just saying this. I love you all. So, TTYL. Bye.